Ukraine and Canada, and indeed Manitoba, have strong historic ties. Many Ukrainians fleeing the war are coming here, and it's not the first time Canada has provided safety for those fleeing conflict. CBC's Karen Pauls visited Dauphin, a city that has provided homes to Ukrainians over the generations and is stepping up again. This construction site is far away from Mariupol, Ukraine, and the fishing ship Alexei Vlazov was working on when Russia invaded last February. I know this is war in our city, because right now from huge city, they are totally destroyed. After meeting up with his wife and two children in Romania, they made their way to Dauphin in western Manitoba. Grateful, grateful, grateful for whole Dauphin community because many family, you know, and run away from home without nothing. Dauphin was settled generations ago by Ukrainians fleeing conflict, so when Russia invaded, people here knew they had to help. We felt we had to give back. Ryan Rollick says Dauphin has sponsored 11 families and is expecting three or four more. Our Ukrainian people are coming back, coming back to our small towns like they did 70, 80 years ago. And we're seeing that right now before us, and we're a part of that. And it's history in the making. We set the bar very high on how we can help out, and, and we're proud of that. About 3,200 displaced Ukrainians have arrived in Manitoba. One in seven Manitobans have some connection to Ukraine. Which is why hundreds rallied this week, calling on Russia to release Ukrainian prisoners of war who surrendered from Mariupol. Sofia Lazarenko fears they'll be executed. It's terrifying, especially in our family. We have two soldiers that are, are captured right now. Many, like Maria Puhach, worried Russia will escalate its attacks. I really worry about my country. I really worry about my relatives who live there and little kids. I want them to live freely in their country and have a freedom. Back in Dauphin, Alexei Vlazov knows how lucky he is. That is my main dream for my kids, you know, and feeling safe themselves. And uh, they are living in a very calm and uh, with peace looking in the future. He hopes freedom, safety and peace will soon come to his homeland too. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Dauphin, Manitoba.